Hello. It's natural, I think, that when people start playing harmonica, they get very concerned about, have I got the right model? What do I need to look for? Do I need a harmonica with a certain feature? Does it need this blingy thing or whatever? So what I'm going to do today is hopefully provide a little bit of reassurance and maybe dispel some uh, common misunderstandings. The humble harmonica and what is actually important to consider when you're buying one. Okay, so I'm not going to bury the lead here. Any standard, richer tuned, diatonic harmonica of a certain manufacturing quality threshold is going to be absolutely fine. You can gauge the quality threshold usually pretty well actually by price. You're looking about 35, 40 quid as a as a rough guide to the sort of price you can expect to pay for a decent quality harmonica that's been manufactured well. But the truth is that any well manufactured harmonica is going to be just fine. All of the things that people argue about in terms of cover plates, reed material, tuning, what the comb's made out of, is all so minor in comparison to the player's level of comfort with what's in their hand and mouth. Okay, by which I mean if you would like to pretend that once you get through a microphone, a distorted amplifier, the rest of the band banging away, everyone talking in the venue, the general noise, if you're going to tell, try to convince me that one particular brand of harmonica or one particular style of harmonica is going to make a blind bit of difference... I, I'm afraid maybe you've got super ears, maybe mine are rubbish, but it's meaningless. It's absolutely meaningless. In the terms of the, the difference in sound that comes out of a harmonica, we are talking, let's say, I'll be generous, I'll say 10%, right? I think it's a lot less, but let's say you're fiddling around with the last 10% of the sound, Okay. It's just reeds on a reed plate. Okay, that's all that's happening is that reed is going up and down. So, the design of the harmonica comes down to personal preference. The, uh, whether you're using a compromise or equal temperament tuning comes down to preference. Whether you pref prefer a plastic comb or a wooden comb comes down to preference, personal preference. Whether you want the, the little vents on it, or like on a marine band style, or not like on this uh, special 20 style harmonica, that is personal preference. I 100% guarantee you, the people listening don't care. No one has ever watched an incredible harmonica performance and gone, hmm, yeah, that was fantastic, but God, it would have been better if he was playing one of those Seidel Lightnings. Right, it, it just doesn't happen. Nobody thinks that way. Or, okay, maybe nobody, because someone's going to come and tell me they've got golden ears. It's just not important compared to how you feel when you're playing the instrument. Is the instrument giving you what you want? Because you being comfortable playing and confident with what's in your hand and in your mouth matters so much more to the tone than whether there's a plastic comb or not, okay? All things being equal. So assuming you've spent about 35, 40 UK pounds on a, on a good harmonica from a good manufacturer, so I'm thinking Hona, Seidel, uh, Suzuki, and I hear good things about um, some of the newer brands coming out of China, um, East Top and Labelle, is it? Labella? In any case, the player is the important factor here. Okay, And the player being 
comfortable with what they're playing. So if you enjoy playing, for example, Special 20s, and you think, hmm, would I get a more authentic, dirty, raw blues sound if I was playing a marine band? So you get yourself a marine band and you go, oh my God, the comb is wood, it's weird, it feels weird on my tongue, it's got sharp edges, etc. You're not going to play better, you're not going to sound better on that marine band than you are on your Special 20, because you like the Special 20, you like the way it plays, it's helping you to express yourself. Whereas any tiny perceived difference in sound quality from having a classic design harmonica, it's just meaningless in comparison. So, yes, harmonicas do sound different. The cover plate has a big impact. The design of the cover plate has probably the most significant impact on the sound. And I would strongly encourage newer players to not fall into listening to a load of hype from manufacturers or folklore on forums or whatever okay it's just about you and the instrument that's what affects the the sound and the quality of the noise the music that you're making don't be chasing any great white Wales. Again, the differences in sound just aren't big enough to override the feeling that you get when you play a certain harmonica. So I think that's all I've got to say, really. Pick a harmonica that you like, pick a harmonica that feels good, that sounds good to you, and roll with it. It's not a rabbit hole that you want to spend a bunch of time in, I promise. I hope that made some kind of sense. I'd, I'd love to know what your favourite style of harmonicas are, um, why you like a certain something, why you don't like a certain something. All that stuff's really interesting, so, you know, leave a comment and let me know. Because harmonica players love talking about this stuff and, and obsessing about it, right? But the details, man, they're just, they're just not that. Like get a decent harmonica that you're comfortable with and you will sound better. Right, I'll see you again next week. Thanks.